Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another fly tying video. Um, it's September here at the shop now when I'm putting this video out and uh, we've been on a salmon theme, salmon and steelhead theme. So we're going to stick with that. I'm going to show you an Alaskan fly, a very popular Alaska fly called the Dalai Lama. It's an articulated streamer which I like to tie and um, you know tie this in different colors. This would work for smallmouth in the river or steelhead, um, tie it smaller, tie it larger, depending on the fish you're targeting. And um, like I said, mix up the colors, that's a big thing too. So whatever colors you like to use, you know, that you have your trust in and uh, your confidence in, go with that. But black as a leech is a very, very popular one up in Alaska. And that's the way I'm going to tie it because I'm going to be taking this up there with me. So... Let's get into tying it here. You're going to see the fly and the vise and then the material list to tie it. And then I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about it. So thanks for watching. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. Um, this piece of rabbit fur here goes up across the bottom like this. And uh, it's kind of a big fly. And really cool looking fly actually. So let's get into tying it. It's a leech imitation. And we're going to start off with our hook. We're going to put our hook in the vise. The hook we're using is a B10S stinger hook. This one is a size 2. We're actually going to use two of them. But... For the first one we're going to put on the tail here, we're going to put it in our vise and we're going to start out with some black thread. We're going to wrap that black thread back towards the back, cut off our tag and then wrap it back right to where the bend starts. Now we're going to have a little tail of zonker strip here. This is 1 8 straight black zonker strip. And I want about that much tail, okay? Like, about, just about the shank length. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to measure that off, pull that hair back, and then we're going to take it down here on the bottom, and I'm just going to put my hook right through the middle of it. Okay? Now that's there. We're going to take our hook out, spin this up, and I'm going to turn my fly upside down it's going to make it a little bit easier so we're going to tie the hook in here upside down let me center this a little better this way and then I'm just going to spin this around this way now once I get this centered on the top I'm going to pull all those fibers back again and I'm going to wrap this into place so it doesn't spin around on my hook get three or four nice good tight wraps pull her down there um, 210 denier black thread is what I'm using if I didn't say. And now the next thing I'm going to use is some diamond braid pearl. And this is going to make just a little bit of flash to the body of the back of it here. And we're just going to tie it on. Tie it on by the end there. Oops. Get her tied down good and wrap it right back to that zonker strip and then we're going to wrap this up to about an eye width well you can wrap it up to the eye for that matter but we're going to tie it off about an eye width back now we're just going to wrap this pearl up if you have flat diamond braid that works too um, mix the colors up here if you want maybe throw some pink in there if you're going up to Alaska pink probably wouldn't be a bad idea so we're just going to wrap this forward like I said, about an eye length back, we're going to tie it off. And trim this diamond braid off. Okay. Clean that up there. Now we're going to pull our rabbit strip up over the top. And separate the fibers here. So we can tie it down on the top. I'm going to get three or four nice, good, tight wraps there. Okay, then I'm going to pull this out of the way, and I'm going to whip finish my head off. 
This is going to be the trailer hook on our fly. And uh, the stinger hook, whatever you want to call it. This is what's going to make it articulated. So now, we'll whip finish that off there. I'm going to put one more. The next thing I'm going to put on here is the braided line which is going to make the articulation here and for the braided line I'm using some 50 pound test braided uh, you know braided fishing line cigar uh, whatever kind you like to use if you have some off your bass rods that's great just get good heavy stuff that's not gonna break I'm gonna put it down through the eye I'm gonna run it back through the loop and then I'm going to pop that over the eye there so it ties itself off behind the eye. Okay, and there's our trailer trailer line here you can see hanging off of there. So now we're going to leave this big long piece hang here. That's going to be tied on on our next piece. We're going to take this out of the vise. And set it off to the side for a minute. Now the next thing we're going to put in is we're going to take a hook shank, another one, the same the same B, B10S size 6, or size 2, sorry. And you see how I cut the end of it off. I mean, I, I cut it off at the bend there a little bit just so it stays in the vise a little bit better. And I'm going to put a 7 millimeter black cone head bead on there. And before I put my thread on, I'm going to put some nice heavy wire to get this tucked up in there. I'm going to put some .035, put about 5 or 6 wraps. Okay, and then shove that bead up in there behind the eye. That'll hold that bead in place, give it some extra weight, which I want. Okay, now we're just going to wrap that down to hold that into place. And trim our thread off. Okay, now that we did that, we're going to bring our thread back here to the bend. Back to the back. And we're going to tie our articulated piece on okay and I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap so there's room for it to flow and move around and I'm just gonna tie these two pieces of braided line down on the top and get them nice and straight here and on the top and like I said enough room for them to move around and have some action there you can see and then you can if you want to, you can wrap them up through the eyes and run them back through whatever you want to do. Um, if you just get them wrapped on here good and wrap back over it, it's going to hold. I don't worry about it that much. So just make sure you wrap back over itself, that it doubles back over. If you don't double it back over, then you stand a chance of it pulling out. That 50 pound test isn't going to break that easily. Um, like I said in my one of my last videos, I like to use a razor blade to trim that because it's very hard on your scissors. Okay, now that I have that, we are going to bring our rabbit strip back up over here and we're going to attach this one to it. Okay, so we're going to separate the hair again on top of the new hook and tie it down. Okay, as we tie it down, we're going to tuck underneath it again. We're going to bring this up to the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to palmer this rabbit strip the whole way up the hook here. And it's going to make a nice leech style pattern. Just, you know, wrap side by side wraps. Don't over, over wrap it. Don't trap the fur down. And then once I get up here to the bead, I'm going to give her an extra wrap maybe and tie it down right in there behind that bead. Okay, once I get this tied off, we're going to trim it off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this upside down. I'll put a wrap or two more on there. I'm going to take a piece of white fur. This white, I want to go, you see... I want it to go to about right here on the white part of my trailer hook. So I'm going to hold it up there to that length and I'm going to trim it off where I want it. 
to get it the right length. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to try to tease that down under that bead. And use your eye. Make sure your eye stays level. And use that to be your gauge so this white strip lays right on the bottom and comes back level, you know, straight off of that eye, not off to the side or <coughs> anything like that. So we're going to get that tied in nice and good. And then I'm going to flip it to the side. What I'm going to take next is some lateral scale. This stuff is really cool, really flashy. And what I like to do with it is I will cut one of them off. And for this fly here, it works out the perfect length. If I take and fold it in half. Okay, I will fold it in half and cut it. Oops, got some fur on the hook, feather. Okay, and that's going to give me two, two strides, I mean two pieces on each side. So I'm going to fold one of the halves in half. And what I'll do is I'll just pinch it back there tight and it'll make a nice little crease. And that crease is going to be my tie down spot. So I'm going to go on the side. I'll sit this where it's level on the side where this white piece is right towards me. And I'm going to tie that piece of flash down in so I get it right on the side where I want it. Again two or three wraps fold it over and then we're going to flip to the other side put our other half on fold that in half crease it so we find our halfway point and tie this down right off the other side here. And then go back over it. And that is all that's to it. So now that it's on the sides there, we're just going to whip finish. Make a nice clean whip finish right there behind the cone. And you are done with the Dalai Lama. Okay, I hope you like that fly. Like I said, it's not real hard to tie. A um, couple pieces of material and a little bit of skill to it. But not it's not a very difficult fly to tie. Pretty much anybody can tie it with the basic knowledge of fly tying. So um, you can do two different things. One thing that might help you out by doing it is using some cross-cut rabbit. Whenever I tie it up and uh, whenever I tie it onto my main hook, the where you tie your line onto the head one with the cone head um, if you tie off the straight one and then put a cross cut it will flow back over the hook better so if you wrap it the right way all the f fibers all the hair will go back over the hook it'll look a little bit neater but as you saw in this video you can use the straight cut and continue it the whole way up and you won't have a problem just make sure to tease it back as you go so um, main thing mix up your colors like I said earlier, and uh, have it in a few different colors, tie it in a couple different sizes, shrink your cone heads, that kind of stuff. Uh, experiment with it and have fun. So, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I love bringing these to you. And hit me up at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com if you have any questions for me. And uh, also, if you would like to suggest a video. And... If you don't and uh, you're interested in material to tie it, you can always go to our shop, wholesingersflyshop.com, and reach out to us at contact us at wholesingersflyshop.com with any tying questions. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger. <laughs>